take you back to the city after you check in with Manderley. from D.C.? What agency? Please proceed to Manderley's office. We will expect to see you shortly. Do not question the prisoners yourself. We will be waiting. I do not understand the reason for your delay. Interesting behavior, Mr. Denton. Liberty Island is off-limits. The island has been declared a crime scene and will be the subject of a thorough investigation. From now on, all travel to and from HQ will be by copter. Yunako is going to make sure what happened tonight doesn't happen again. They're bringing in experts from Washington. Carry on, Agent. Agent Navarro was grinding gears over how you handled Castle Clinton. Not hard I to flip the case, case, is it? Never mind Anna Navarra. She hates everybody. Agent? Don't listen to what they're saying about the shootout in the park in Hell's Kitchen. You had other priorities. Don't worry about what the guys are saying about Hell's Kitchen. If it wasn't for the warehouse, I'm sure you would have helped out with the firefight in front of the hotel. I know for a fact from when you were at the Academy that you can do more than throw gas grenades and use a prod. They're full of it. Manderly said he's busy but to wait outside his office. Filling out a report on the mop-up operation. I saw quite a bit of action today. I think they give us these things to make sure we don't forget how to read and write. Is it five kills get you the red eye? I think I'll put five.
I heard about the raid. Don't sweat it. I'm sure Paul had his reasons. Your brother's always one step ahead of the rest of us. You'll see. Tomorrow the Coalition will be kissing his ass. Agent? Just to hang tight. Objectives remain, apparently. I was here first. Mr. Mandeley is in a meeting, JC. You'll have to wait. I was told to report for a debriefing. A debriefing? Do not worry. I will state in my report that I was satisfied with your performance. You will have to wait a minute. Mr. Mandeley is busy. Be quiet. I am trying to listen. A bureaucrat from Washington. See if he asks for any of our opinions. Wait in line. Just fire the arrogant son of a bitch. I wasn't exaggerating. He's our best agent. We don't need him. We've got his brother, and more are on the way. He knows nothing. I think he does. You should never have sent him to Hong Kong. Let's be sensible. We have to look at the whole record. Look, I understand. He was your pet project, but it's out of my hands. Now that the shipment's been lost... I know, I know. I will comply with the order. That's all I ask. Carry on. I'm going downstairs to interrogate the prisoners. Carry on, Agent. Agent Denton, at your service. Denton. Yes, I hear you're turning out to be quite an asset to the Coalition. Doing my best, sir. Forgive me, but I do not believe I know your name. We aren't ready for an introduction yet. No, it's not time. Just keep your nose to the pavement. You'll be well rewarded. Trust me. You aren't needed, Agent. Manderley will give you your orders. I must attend to a sensitive matter. Carry on, Agent. Stop following me. I've already reported you once. We're looking to you to set an example. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. Manderly says only senior staff members can interview the prisoners. They won't talk. We've tried everything. I won't say anything if you go back there. I won't say anything, but I think I you should I have an go. important matter to attend to. I have 
one question. They already asked. I don't know. One must admire a man who can keep a secret because he has value. What you know more than others makes money and gives you a measure of power. You Walton Simons, you think I could be bribed? Margaret Forsyth, under NSF protection in Queens. Your son Richard, attending Bronx Science. You see, I have a few relevant facts myself. Care to make a trade? You wouldn't dare. I'll give you two seconds to decide. Get out of here, Denton. This is none of your business. I can sum it all up in one word. Self-reliance. That's what we stand for. How about you tell me where that shipment is being taken? UNATCO assumes that people are incapable of protecting themselves, and therefore should submit to surveillance and intimidation by an outside force. We won't do it. Time's up. Where is the NSF taking the Ambrosia? They asked me already. I don't know. Need I remind you that in the case of a national emergency, FEMA has a list of six million Americans who will be transported to detention centers? Your tabloids call it RX-84. Yeah, including the President, Congress, and the Supreme Court. In my position, I find it very easy to add names to that list. Go to hell. The governments of the world believe an average citizen should not face the threat of terrorism alone. We don't need your help. The technology exists today for an individual to protect his property against explosives, firearms, surveillance, intrusion, contamination. Get the hell out of here, Denton. 350 million fortresses is not my idea of the land of the free. It's better than one big fortress constructed by a corrupt government against its people. The United States government has had emergency powers since World War II. We've never left a state of war. Speak for yourself. The federal government is just responding to a threat. A government should be about more than self-perpetuation. You will confess, by the way. I don't like to dirty my hands with that sort of thing, but you will confess. It's simple numbers. Big companies pay like 2% tax. Well, you and me, we pay like 50. It's the tax code that makes sure big bureaucracy gets bigger and people have no power. You have an assignment in New York, Agent. I expect you to follow orders. Let's get back to the subject of the missing vaccine. All taxes are social engineering. That's always been their real purpose. I'm not going to stand here and listen to you badmouth the greatest democracy the world has ever known. What happens is that politicians get money from big companies, so all the social engineering is for making big companies. Like I said, it's simple numbers. Certain intellectual properties, aside from the quantities of vaccine, concern me deeply. Has the NSF made any attempt at reverse engineering? Leave me alone. A government shouldn't have to occupy its own country with troops. If there wasn't organized oppression, there wouldn't be organized resistance, and what you call terrorism would not exist. If you wanted to save people, you could have unloaded the whole shipment in Manhattan. Or the airlift. You said it yourself. Secrets are power. You can lock me up, but you can't lock up the truth. Telling the truth. If you got interrogated, you wouldn't have any answers either. We both just follow orders. We have less civilized ways of making you talk. They already grilled me. I am a patient man. Ask me if I care. But not that patient. <laughs> you saw nothing, didn't report to Manderley. Your turn. See what you can find out in Manhattan. The real plague eating at the minds of the American people is secessionism, regionalism, this new arrogance and sense of entitlement. Once the bug bites, you've already lost the patient. Do you have even a passing interest in doing your job? Quit screwing around. Leave, damn it. I think Mr. Simons wants to be alone with the prisoner. Manderley will chew us out if he finds out you were here.
Agent Denton. Marvelous. In addition to an accuracy weapon modification, I've got a couple of multi-tools. Mr. Carter, can I ask you a question? Certainly. I'm getting the impression that UNACO is focused more on military operations than law enforcement. The focus has shifted lately, I agree. The only way Anna would have been satisfied is if I'd executed every terrorist in Castle Clinton. The standing order seems to be shoot to kill. Direct intervention is always part of the game. In my day, we were just more civilized about it. Civilized. That's the word. I guess I was expecting a little more class from the world's anti-terrorist organization. We just have to strike a balance. Why don't I throw in an extra clip with those multi-tools? I trust you will be able to judge when one or the other is appropriate for achieving mission objectives. I can't carry anything else right now. Hold on. I think the suits are putting the squeeze on Mandalay about this one. pretty bad down here. Keeps getting worse, too. It must be raining bullets out there. The NSF aren't kidding around. How you holding up? Fine. I lost one of the privates because a refrigeration unit went down. That's always hard. You've got a lot in your hands. Don't beat yourself up over faulty equipment. By the way, we aren't in such shambles that we can't spare a few med kits. Check the storage closet. You certainly made an impression on the troops tonight. Looks like it's going to be a late night for both of us. <clears throat> you might talk to my friend. He's a little down. I knew what I was getting into when I joined up. Better I take a bullet than an innocent civilian. Just doing my job, sir. I took a few hits tonight. The doc had to operate. We'll get well soon, soldier. Yes, sir. I will. Dr. Reyes said they took the bullet out, but I still feel it in my stomach. It's like a piece of ice. He also said I lost my spleen. Thanks for talking to my friend. He admires you.
I cannot wait forever. He will see you when he's ready. Mr. Mandalay can see you now. I am next. I am losing valuable time. Hello, JC. Come in. Clerical task first. Your op bonus is split between the Castle Clinton and Warehouse objectives, 500 each. You get the full 1,000 plus 200 for how you handle the hostage situation in the Battery Park subway station. Good work across the board. Thank you, sir. Who is that you were meeting with? Politics, bureaucracy, mismanagement. JC, I've got some bad news. The mission failed. I would have taken out that Jojo punk, but he wasn't even in the warehouse. Never mind that. He slipped out before you even got to New York. What about the shipment? I'm just going to say it straight, JC. Your brother screwed up. We got nothing, and he's taking the heat this time. The Coalition is letting him go. What went wrong? We don't know. He hasn't reported back. The rest of the strike force says he lost his nerve. I think he was trying to avoid casualties. In Hell's Kitchen, instead of clips for the troops, he was issuing tear gas. Whatever the case, now it's your turn. We've got one more chance to retake that shipment. Has it been located? Take the chopper back to the city. We know they plan to put the Ambrosia on a plane, but we don't know which airfield. Where should I start? If I were the NSF, I'd be moving it through the subways, the abandoned parts of the infrastructure. I'll check out the subways. And stay away from the press this time, especially the tabloids. Do I need to quote the manual? Secrets are lives? Yes, sir. I have been waiting for 20 minutes. Sorry, Anna. What is it? I would like to be reassigned to Agent Herman. Why? Is Agent Denton? He completed his objective, but our tactics are incompatible. In other words, he didn't kill everything in sight. He could have made a more thorough search for NSF targets, yes. Hmm. Our pilot jock is waiting for you at the helipad. Let's not be hasty. He will improve. That's what you said about his brother. Let me say this once. That's a sore spot, and you know it. You should have listened to me. Ah, end of meeting. You have a lot to teach, JC. And that's why you're his partner. Nevertheless, I will submit my concerns in writing to Walton Simons, as I did regarding Paul. If you see your brother, send him my way. He didn't report back. Don't forget to check in with Carter and Reyes. You have your orders. Let me get back to work. I said carry on. Good luck, JC. Hope this one turns out a little better. Your chopper's ready, Agent. Good luck out there. Give him hell, Denton. Get on the helicopter, Mr. Denton. Simons did not appreciate your interference. Please do not keep us waiting. We are needed inside. 
Never mind Anna Navarra. She hates everybody. Let's go. <clears throat> Dropping you in Battery Park. We know the NSF were moving material through here at one point. Seems like a good place to start looking. I saw you earlier. You're the guy they sent into the subway station. You don't look augmented. From what I heard, when it's dangerous, they send in soldiers that are all mech. Like 90% metal. I don't see why they don't just use robots. We sure appreciate the help tonight, Agent. We made a sweep of the area. No sign of the NSF. If you want eyewitnesses, I'd say check the subway or the shantytown. You'll be the first to know if we find anything. They got us on patrol until morning. All quiet up here. I think we scared them off. Except for that one barrel of ambrosia, there's been no sign of the shipment. Don't tell Navara. We've let some of the bums back into the park. They don't have anywhere to go. Maybe check the shantytown. A lot of strange characters go through there. Nothing to report, Agent. You can assure UNATCO that the area has been secured. An NYPD crime scene unit came by. They said they didn't find much. Not much happening. City's under curfew. This whole place just got shot up a few minutes ago. The United Nations invaded the city because of the NSF. I think most of the rebels got away. The NSF won't get caught because they know how to use the secret parts of the subway. My dad always said that someday the UN would have an army, would try to take over the United States. I thought he was cracked in the head. It's gotta be processed, or it'll kill you faster than the Grey Death. I don't care. I try anything. I hope the NSF leaves some ambrosia in New York. Everyone says they're gonna ship it to China. I can't make it another day. I just want it to be over. We've got the secret passage sealed up, sir. They call it a bolt hole. It's probably been part of the fort since it was built. Looks like the terrorists were using it to smuggle supplies. Don't worry. No one's getting past us. Tomorrow morning they're going to cement it shut. We lost the battle today. I admit it, yes, Lord. You with the NSF? Had myself a division, mind you, back when we were the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Years ago. They thought they had us licked. Like they think they have us licked tonight. But look at me, young sir. 
We're God's army, and what infernal devil can stop God's army? Well, you take care of yourself. Found me two 30-06 clips. Now all I need's a gun, and then it's me and Satan. Yes, Satan. One last look into the devil's red eyes. Sounds like you served God admirably in the Northwest War. But maybe you should let a soldier from the younger generation take the clips off your hands. What do you want for him? Huh? You mean money? You want to buy him? Well, guess I'd take about 300 for each one. I'll check back with you later. And keep it out of the way, like they said. You don't have to push. I didn't have nothing to do with what went down tonight. The NSF got what they wanted. That's all I know. What? What? Yeah, I've been in trouble with the law before. So what? When I'm in jail, it's usually because I fell asleep somewhere, like, like it's a crime to sleep. Doesn't seem to be too much to ask for. A piece of ground. Just contagious. I got no use for a handout. Every day, some new disease. I think it's government labs. Oh, thank you for talking to this old bag of bones. Most people, they look at you like you're already dead. Don't forget to wash your fruit. I think that's how I got it. Take care of yourself. That's enough. You're wearing me out. Oh, thank you again. My hands get so cold. Yeah, like I said, we'll probably both get kicked out when whoever it is gets back. I live underground. All the same. I can think of safer places to camp. After all the fighting tonight. Eh, cops said I could be here. Besides, I ain't camping. I'm with the Mole People. Why the name Mole People? They call us that because we live underground. <laughs> like they're some kind of superior beings or something because they got more money than we do. Maybe you should join your people. Anywhere underground would be safer than Battery Park. The Moles need someone topside. And besides, it's been pretty quiet. I'd rather be here than have the NSF tromping around with machine guns. The NSF are hiding out with the Mole People? Yeah, they haven't hurt anybody. We guess it's all right. I need to contact the NSF. Think you could tell me how to find the moles? Sure. Just give me the password so I know they trust you. It's a matter of national security. Still need a password. Think it's true, the vaccine they got? Think it'd really kill you? It's super concentrated. I heard the NSF talking. They're gonna process it, though. I hope so. I can't go much longer. Remember the password yet? It's imperative that I find the NSF hideout. I've got to have the password. What about the mole settlement? You taking new people? Well, uh, it's not the best time. Not right now. I don't mind. I'd sleep in the dirt, whatever. The thing is, they've got this policy. Uh, no one with the Grey Death can go past Brooklyn Bridge Station. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, miss. Really. No need. No, I understand. Plenty of room around the fire. Don't worry. We're allowed to be here. Cops have been pretty cool tonight. It's little things once in a while that make you feel not so much like a leper anymore. Hey, you a cop? The terrorists got away. They built a secret passage in the subway station. 
You didn't used to be able to get to Brooklyn Bridge Station from here. It's neat, but I wouldn't go down there now, even if I knew the code. Thanks again for the key. It wasn't a favor. I was well paid. A real patriot. I see it like this. It all balances out. Yanako's just as much gun freaks as the militias. And if everybody's gonna shoot it out, fine. So long as neither side wins and takes over the whole country. The goal of Yanako is not conquest. It's the safety of ordinary people like yourself. I know an army when I see one. Look, I'll be blunt. You got any cash? There's a secret passage behind that phone booth over there. For 500, I'll tell you where to get the code. Sure. 500 for where I can find the code to the phone booth. Talk to Curly in the shantytown in Battery Park. He's from the Mole People Settlement. You have to give him the password, Underworld. I think I talked to the guy. He said the NSF were hiding out with the Moles. Are they allies? They both hate the Feds, but that's it. The Moles don't want a war. They just want to be left alone in the tunnels. Aiding and sympathizing. Just as bad as being a terrorist yourself, in my opinion. I doubt the NSF gave them much choice. We think they're loading the Ambrosia onto a plane. You heard anything about that? Nothing I could put a price on. Yanako already thinks it's Juan Lebedev. Lebedev? I don't know who else it could be. He owns a whole terminal at LaGuardia. Manderley's been trying to bump him off for years. Since when is LaGuardia for sale? City had some debts a few years back. There's always a buyer. But Lebedev's small time. He can't buy off the big politicians like a Bob Page. Who does he buy off? People lower down, but useful. Some of your buddies at Yanako, actually. Who? <laughs> you can't afford that one. Yeah, if it's Lebedev, you're gonna have a chance to be a hero. Manderley wants him dead. Figured you'd come through here. You wanna know something? Find me. guy sent me to talk to you. You're Curly, right? Yeah, what do you want? I heard you have the code to the phone booth in the subway. You want to go down to the Brooklyn Bridge Station? That's near the Mole People Settlement. You need the Mole Password. Underworld is the password. Why didn't you say so? The phone code's M-O-L-E. That's 665 tree. Thanks. Oh, when you get to the Brooklyn Bridge Station, talk to Charlie. He'll get you into the tunnels where we live. Charlie's the lieutenant mayor. He takes care of infrastructure. I like Charlie. He's always been straight with me. Now, we live in the tunnels west of Brooklyn Bridge Station. It's not a bad place. Lots of good people down here. Now, we have our own government, elections, a real democracy. Democracy's for small towns. That's how it developed uh, back in Athens. We're modeled on the Greeks with no outside influences. When there's millions of people in a country, no one has any say about anything. Big countries always turn into dictatorships. Then they fall apart under their own weight. Thought you were in a hurry to track down the NSF. There's a DSS file a mile long on this place. Some of them, the so-called mole people, have permanent living quarters in an adjacent tunnel system not on my map.
I hear the NSF are using the Mole People hideout as a base. Are you the feds? We don't need a war down here. I work for UNATCO. Well, the NSF come through here, but they don't bother us. If we need help with anything, it's our plumbing. We lost pressure because of the explosions on South Street. Tough break. You tell me about the NSF, and I'll put in a word with the city about the water. The city don't know we got water, and they don't need to know. How about you fix it, and then I'll talk. I don't have much time. I would open the valve myself, but there was a cave-in. Utility door's blocked. It's up at the north end of the tracks, in case you want to take a look. Clearing a tunnel. That would require explosives. It could be done. A lamb would do the trick. It's just that I'm not gonna be the one to talk to the rooks. They'd probably sell us one, but they don't like people going into their turf, which is the whole upper level. I tried to clear a path to the door, but I'm not worth a nickel anymore. The gang runs the whole upper level of the station. The leader calls himself El Rey, but he's just a punk. Then the city don't care if we siphon off a bit. You want to get to our hideout, you go through me. should be open now. Good. Glad to see you UNETCO boys do something for the community. Now can you tell me about the NSF? The NSF? Yeah. They took over our tunnels. How do I get there? Go to the women's restroom on the other side of the station. Look for a keypad under the sink. Combinations 5482. Great. I'm glad I can help you out. Be careful if there's a gunfight. Their families living down there. The mole people aren't militant like the NSF. The NSF wants a base down there because it's close to LaGuardia. Yeah, thanks again. I'm looking for the mole people. You don't want to camp with them. Trust me, they're too political. I don't need a place to camp. I started the Mole People. I was there first. And then they made up committees that throw people out just because they don't like the way you look. How do I find them? Don't bother. They're elitist. And now the NSF is down there too. It's things down there anyway. I'm a classic example of the individualist. I do better on my own. The only thing about staying up here is the rooks. One time I was drunk and fell asleep and they put me on the train tracks. Good thing the five is shut down. I'm gonna kill Rock. You have a problem? Get out! I got a bomb! A bomb's a bad choice for close range combat. Might as well use it. Rock says I owe him. He won't even give me one vial for it. What kind of bomb? I think they said it was called a lamb. Suppose I could part with a vial of Syme if you'll give me the lamb. You got some? Really? Yeah. Let's see the lamb. Take it, man. Whatever. 
Where's the sign? Hope it lasts. Ah. <sighs> better. Much better. I was feeling pretty bad. Leave me alone! The rule is you're supposed to use the secret passage and leave us alone! Man, it stinks in here! Better. Much better. The doctors in that clinic? They ain't worth five credits. Nurse knew I was sick. She just don't care. I've got the plague. That's why I look like this. They should be giving me disability. It's my right. Government lets people get poor, and they wonder why someone jacks their Mercedes. Hi, honey. I don't handle the money. Talk to Charlie. You want Zyme? Talk to the guy in the corner. His name's Rock. You deaf? I said I don't handle the money. Beat it. Hey man, you got any Zyme? Take a vial. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Now maybe you can calm down for a second and tell me how to get to the mole people hideout. Yeah, sure. They're in the tunnels. And? The keypad's under the sink in the woman's bathroom. Everybody knows that. The code? Got me. The mole people keep me out because they don't like Zyme. Hey, thanks, dude. Ah, oh. Who needs rock, huh? Not me. He could just die. Take his 50 cut Zyme and blow. Under the sink, man. Look under the sink. You need, bro. Vials are 250. What do you know about a gang called the Rooks? Gang? Who calls them a gang? Just what I heard. Bunch of pussy cats. I come within 50 yards. They scatter. Seems that other people aren't so lucky. I always talking big, trying to be players. The junkies found a box of lambs the other day. Now L. Ray puts on the show of being an arms dealer. The junkies? Oh, sure. Only a matter of time until someone's stash disappears and people start blowing up. Rock's the name, guy. Anything you want. Know where I can find the mole people? Good neighbors keep each other's business private. You want to set a price? I'm a good neighbor. You want to buy something or not? I'm with you, Natco. Start talking. I ain't going back to jail. Let's try some word association. First word, ambrosia. Bitch, I ain't going back to jail. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hola, bro. What is it? You on Rook's territory now. Just so you know. You call yourselves Rooks? That's right. Up here, it's business. You want to do business? Talk to Will Ray. I'll keep that in mind. Just take it easy, bro. Be cool. No one up here is looking for a fight. El Rey runs the show. We're gonna be special forces for the NSF if they give us some chits. You can stick around, long as you have legitimate business. All this, as far as you can see, is Rook's territory. I heard someone found a box of lambs down here. A grenades? Oh yeah, but they're all gone now. Where'd they go? A lot of people took them. They, but not me. I was too late. Who? Anyone still have one? Yeah, with my friend Lenny. Except he got sick. I don't know where he went. Anyone else? I think most people sold them to the NSF, but not me. That's why I'm broke. You gotta help me get some Zyme. Rock's all high and mighty now that there's money going around. You wanna talk to El Rey? That's cool. The Rooks, we hang mostly underground, but we about to spread out. Next, we're gonna move on rock. You wanna run with us? Bet El Rey say okay. Hey, bro, what's with the get-up? Charlie says you sell explosives. Yeah? Charlie should mind his own business. How much? Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't talking firecrackers, understand? What I got, it comes from a guy at UNATCO. Hardcore munitions and shit. How much? I got a lamb. You know what that is? Seven fifty. Pretty steep for second-hand goods. Either that or you work for it. You in the fighting? I need someone to take care of the dealer downstairs. I already dealt with that guy. Knocked him unconscious, flat on his back. Unconscious? You deaf? I said I want homeboy dead. You gonna survive on the street, bro, you gotta have some sense. Like what I tell my crew. No mercy. When it's you and the enemy, no mercy. I used as much force as the situation required. You trying to lecture me on tactics? Take it easy, we work it out. I get one of my boys to finish the hit. Good enough? That guy? He's been in my way for months. Now I got the whole station. You can have the lamp. Now I can afford me a Gep gun. You don't want to be nowhere near one of those things when it goes off. Downstairs, I'm gonna start my own operation. Tell Charlie I don't want him advertising that I got hot merchandise, right? The doctors in that clinic, they ain't worth five credits.
Looks like you've been overrun by NSF. They move supplies through here. There's nothing we can do about it. Anything recently? A bunch of barrels came through about an hour ago. Woke us all up. Where were they headed? They went through the bathroom like they always do. Only way to get a key is from the NSF commander. Guy lives to the south. But I bet he'd die first. Some of the terrorists actually live down here? It's a secret room. You open the door by pushing a brick they keep hidden behind some cardboard boxes. I'll have a talk with him. You won't have to worry about the NSF for much longer. The terrorist leader's command post is on this side of the tunnel to the south. If you're looking for the airfield, you're gonna want to go to the north end of the chamber. They've built a secret passageway in the men's bathroom. I didn't want to fight, but I guess it turned out for the best. You'd think the revolutionaries would have more respect for the people they're trying to fight for. I'm not against the NSF, but we got families down here. This isn't a barracks. Surrender. The mole people say the Ambrosia came through here an hour ago. I'll cooperate. Relax. The key to the men's restroom is on the table. This better not be a joke. Hey, I'm just an accountant. I know the body armor looks threatening, but I'm part-time, like a reservist. I don't want any trouble. The key's on the corner of the table. I never wanted to see action. I know when to stand down. Hold fire! Take it easy, I'm on your side. I surrender. They made me do work for them. Easy, man. I won't get in your way. I used to handle records at a shipyard, so they had me break into the inventory systems. I was able to locate shipments of Ambrosia. You want this stinking rat hole? You got it. I guess it's not so bad if they manage to help some of the sick people. Don't look at me. I just follow orders. If you're looking for the leader, he's in a secret room next to the storage area beside us. You won't find anything down here. I tried to get away this morning, but I got caught. Then they shot my cat. Like I said, I was just a prisoner. They didn't tell me much. If you're from the feds, you're a little late. You from the feds? We don't need any help. Hell, the NSF don't hurt anybody. This is our place. We can do what we want. The city condemned this part of the subway. This is free territory. The NSF have every right to stand up to the government. Somebody's gotta. Doesn't seem like much to ask from the city of New York. <clears throat> a damn hole in the ground. You're the spy, huh? Them little guys knew you were coming. They have a plan. They're gonna kill you. They turned on hot steam in one tunnel and put laser traps in the other. The guards at the helicopter base are supposed to shoot you when you show up. You better go back. 
I know a secret. Yeah? It's about the NSF commander. You know how he gets in his secret room? I give up. He does something with the brick behind those cardboard boxes. It's true. I saw it. I believe you. I was just over there myself. I know lots of secrets. My dad says you can't get anywhere if you can't keep a secret. When I grow up, I'm going to be rich. Because I'm going to know everything. You with the police? They just moved a bunch of barrels through here. You still have time to catch them. They think because they had guns we're afraid, but we're not. We've been waiting for the right chance to run these jerks out of town. Panel secured. Good. The booby traps? Installed. They really think you'll make it this far? Paul said not to take any chances. Well, I guess he would know. Don't shoot! I surrender! We don't know anything. We got word. We're standing down. Easy, man. I won't get in your way. find anything down here. These sewage tunnels look like they come out somewhere by the airfield. Be careful, though. The terrorists probably expect intruders.
terminal below a private section of LaGuardia. Veer to the east. You should be able to take the elevator to ground level. If you hit trouble, double back across the platform. There's a sewer drain to the northwest which leads to a pond next to the airfield. We think we might know who's moving the shipment. More in a minute. You're on the right track. That's one of the three missing barrels of Ambrosia. We'll be sending a team to recover it. See if you find the other two.
LaGuardia owned by Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. We're certain based on what you've discovered that he's working with terrorists. Your orders are to locate and kill him. We're sending you a map of the airfield.
there. JC. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. I'm working for the NSF. I'll meet you at the 747. Excellent work. I underestimated your abilities. You work for the NSF? Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. 
You got that right. Unatco will have a team here in a few minutes. The Grey Death is a man-made virus. Everyone up to the President is at Unatco's mercy as long as Unatco controls the supply of Ambrosia. You believe that? We have proof. We need to get the Ambrosia to Hong Kong. Heard a Tracer Tong? He can help us synthesize it ourselves. You better step away from the jet. Your boss is my next objective. Join us, JC. Talk to Lebedev. He can convince you. Get on the plane. We're almost ready to go. Blackmail of the U.S. government could not possibly escape the notice of the United Nations. Don't be so quick to trust the U.N. Are you kidding? The U.N.'s about the only chance we've got these days. If the U.S. spirals into another civil war... A pretext, nothing more. The whole project of world government, going back to the League of Nations, has been funded and manipulated mainly by wealthy bankers. Scanning Is that area. so? Remember that the UN itself was built on land donated by John D. Rockefeller. Get on board. A UNACO security squad Scanning will be here any area. minute. The wealthy have always been the ones to profit from one world government. Scanning more area. later. You better get moving. The United Nations Scanning secret goal... Area. Well, this is David Rockefeller's description from a half a century ago. The supranational sovereignty of an intellectual Scanning elite area. and world bankers. The UN was founded not to end war, but to gradually dissolve national governments Scanning and replace them area. with a globalist meritocracy. The average people never benefit from government and business Scanning on a scale area. they can't even understand. Go! Scanning area. Hold fire. Easy. We don't want any trouble. Hope you decide to join up. Hurry up. The UNATCO security squad won't be far behind. Your brother makes some sense, doesn't he? This was our last chance to do something about the plague. We'll protect you from your UNATCO buddies. Go. Lebedev is waiting. Hey, you the guy the Fed sent? I have something for you. How do you know anything about Scanning the Feds? Area. Oh, Lebedev, all his people right now? They're running around like ants thinking it's going to be a raid. Scanning Rich bastard area. probably has some kind of drug deal about to happen. Anyway, filch this stuff Scanning from a guy's locker. Area. I'm selling a recoil weapon mod for 400 I also have some shotgun shells I'll give you for 300 Here's 400 for the recoil weapon mod. Appreciate it.
I surrender. What? Easy now, Agent. Yunatko has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. We have much to learn from each other. We're assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. You know he wouldn't betray Yunatko without a reason. Good work. Now finish the job. He surrendered. He's an unarmed prisoner. Unatco policy protects him. Terminate the prisoner, Agent. If you are too afraid, you are ordered to return to base on Manderley's authority. There is a helicopter waiting. I have the command here now. You are worthless if you cannot obey a simple order. This man will receive a speedy trial. If you know something, just tell me. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? Unatko has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Return to base, Agent Denton. I will handle this. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. You didn't have parents. The ones you knew were employees. You were made by a cabal of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Leave us, Agent. Now. Sounds like a picture-perfect description of the NSF. Think bigger, Agent. Think global. You have disobeyed a direct order. Do you think it's an accident that the cure for the global plague is owned by a single corporation, and that it's kept so secret that only the tabloids dare print a story suggesting it exists? The supply is limited. That doesn't mean there's a conspiracy. But where does that corporation manufacture the cure? And where did your brother uncover the information that brought him over to our side? Go on. I can tell by the expression on your friend's face that she knows where I'm heading. Yunatko is completely correct to think that Tracer Tong will soon understand Ambrosia. He was the one who was going to receive the shipment. Why tell me all this? I've said nothing that Yunatko won't find on this plane's computer. But here's the secret. This is what Paul was so interested to hear from Tracer Tong. Manderley will be disappointed in your insubordination. That is what happens to a prisoner who tries to escape. Go to the helicopter now, Agent Denton. It is waiting at the airfield. Get to the helicopter. Manderley will want to see you. I have never had this much difficulty with a trainee in my life. I have told Manderley a thousand times, augmentations do not make an agent. Clear, sir. We've disabled the security grid. Agent Herman is on his way. This area is secure. 
I heard you got Lebedev. Way to go. There's a chopper waiting at the helipad. Mandoli has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of the airport. Standard procedure, it appears. I'm sure we can count on you. I want to be the one to execute Lebedev. Some bad news. Agent Navara beat you to it. Yes, of course. I will congratulate her. Hey, about my brother. A shame that we have to track down and kill one of our most advanced agents. At least we have one of you left. Don't you think we should give Paul a chance to explain himself? He's been with you, Natko, for years. Only one thing can happen when you break your oath to the Coalition. I will be truthful. I have requested the assignment of the Paul Denton assassination. Again they ignore me. Again they think they have a better punishment for a traitor than a shotgun to the head. I will do it myself even if they say to get him alive. I was the one who warned them a year ago not to trust Paul Denton. Do not make the same mistakes as your brother. The helicopter is waiting. Agent Navarra and I will handle it from here. Paul cannot hide from my infrared detectors.
Gunter told me about Paul. It's true. Paul's been working for the NSF. This is gonna shake up the coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. The coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the coalition. UN officials will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head down if you're gonna come through this in one piece. Sure you're ready to head back to base? I'm ready. Let's move out. Get in. This man will receive a speedy- I guess Paul must have convinced you. Alright. We're alone. If you have proof of a conspiracy, let's hear it. You're the proof. You and Paul. When you get back to UNATCO, pay attention. Something's not right. You're really working for a group of conspirators called Majestic Twelve. You expect me to believe there's a group of people powerful enough to control the United Nations? The UN and UNATCO are just a couple of their tools. UNATCO has already occupied the airfield. Just go through the motions and report back to Liberty Island. I can't do anything for you here. Be patient. Someone will contact you soon. If you want to find out more, You'll have to contact Tracer Tong in Hong Kong. <laughs>